Well, so here we are at uh, Sandia's open studio. Um, let's go in, let's have a look at her fantastic studio space here, just to the right hand side of the house. Um, all self contained. And uh, we're just going to go in for the open studio and just see what exciting things she's got in here. Uh, let's see if there's anyone in behind the red door. Hello. Hi, come ah, oh. on in. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. I saw you out there and I thought I'd better come to the door. <laughs> wow, these look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> um, these don't even look like photographs. Tell me about these ones that we have over here. They look like a little bit in the desert. They are actually. They've been all um, taken in the Australian desert, these photographs. And they're all photographs and I've put them together. They're composites. So um, I entered the Ballarat International Photo Biennale in 2015 and the whole theme about it was coming from a space of uh, surrendering, surrendering to self, surrendering to inner self, surrendering to the authentic self. In 2011 I was in the Arizona desert and um, my husband had bought me a camera, a digital camera at that time and, um, and I was photographing and Back in, the, in those days, I used to be in the healthcare industry as a kinesiologist and counselor. And my passion has always been photography. When I was growing up in the Fiji Islands at seven years old, I had my own camera and I used to take photographs. But I wasn't allowed to pursue that as a career. I was told doctor, lawyer, accountant, and um, that was it. So in 2011, having to go through a journey of embracing who I am, and uh, creating from the space of having to let everything go. I found myself in the Australian desert in 2015, going through a similar experience of discovering who I am again and surrendering to the process. I took up photography as a full-time profession back in 2011, went back to school, but there was a part of me that was still yearning to do more with it rather than just take normal photographs. I wanted to create, I wanted to come from a space of a soul searching, a soul yearning. It's almost like, you know, what I do now is because there's an element of my soul in it, there's spirit in it, and it's something that's actually inspiring. So being reflective, and I'm very, very reflective, in the desert, on a solitary journey, you get to see a lot of things. You get to notice a lot of things about yourself and how you are in the world. So I started mixing and matching things and creating what I call art. This is my art. So I use photographs at the moment to create, yeah, I create composites with it. And so this is the space that I'm in now. I choose to do something very... How do I create these? Yeah. First and foremost, it's a sense that I feel with anything that I'm creating before I even imagine it in my head. And then it's basically, um, most of these images are digital images that I've taken, so Photoshop has become my best friend. And I used to really hate Photoshop, but it is a tool for creation for me and I love using it. So. Most of the images though that you see here are single shot images in camera. Uh, and all I've done is either, you know, increase the saturation or uh, played with, um, you know, exposure and stuff. But my composites, I tend to get an idea in my head of something and then I will find a means to an end to create those images. And um, for example, this image here, there's a hawk on a branch, there's trees here, um, this is fire, at the same time it looks like a leaf and it's um, all ta been taken in the desert. I had this poetry coming to my mind and then the image came and then I just found a way to create it and uh, that's what I do. I find a way to create something once I feel my soul stirring and moving. 